Hello everyone, I'm Thomas and welcome to the island of Sodor, a railway where engines like me and my friends work really hard and be really useful. It's Halloween time once again, which means I can tell you another spooky story based on what happened on this island. The one I want to tell you this year is about Rusty telling Duncan a ghost story about a mysterious engine who fell off a bridge and became a ghost. The story seemed to work and scared him big time. This is how it started. <coughs> One day on the narrow gauge railway, Peter, Sam and Rusty were working together to clean up leaves and branches off the rails so they could continue running on them. But when Peter, Sam was having a water break, the trucks were bored and their couplings broke off. They were having a lot of fun, but they didn't see the sun that said slow, steep bends and ravining head, and before they knew it, it was too late. When Peter, Sam and his driver arrived to see the mess, they were embarrassed and knew they would have to get help cleaning it up. The fat controller will be very annoyed. That evening, the fat controller was punishing Peter, Sam at the sheds. You will shunt trucks in the yards till I can trust you again. Duncan was delighted with Peter, Sam's dilemma and was teasing him about it too. They will be coming back to spook you and your special funnel. But it was annoying Rusty and asked him who says he wasn't afraid of ghosts. Fire ghosts, things that go bump in the night, rubbish. Well, I'll tell you a story that will make you a fun el cuevo. And this was the story he told Duncan. A long time ago, a little engine was returning home. It was a misty warm night. As the engine crossed the old iron bridge, he suddenly lost control and plunged over the side into the swamps below. He was never found again. But many of the workmen will tell you that when the moon is full, they have seen the little engine trying to get home. But he never reaches the other side. So what do you think of that, Duncan? asked Rusty. But all Duncan could say was pad nonsense and puffed out of the sheds. Rusty wasn't bothered by his comment and tried to cheer Peter some up. He'd be frightened if he really saw a ghost. That gave Peter Sam's driver an idea. Let's play a trick on Duncan. The next morning, he talked to Duncan's crew, and they agreed to the plan and will be doing it that night. Duncan was in charge of bringing the coal trucks to the slate mines and bringing them back on the way. He couldn't help but think about Rusty's ghost story and was getting a bit worried when dusk fell. He wanted to leave right away, but he had to wait till the job was done. His driver could tell the plan was working. It was night and when he finally collected his trucks. The moon was full and shining bright while the mist was surrounding the old iron bridge. Duncan didn't want to cross it, but he knew he had to. When he was halfway across the bridge, he came to a complete stop and saw some flickering lights that were the shape of an engine. While he was thinking he saw the ghost engine, his driver threw a rock into the swamp. It frightened Duncan so much that he backed away from the bridge to go a different way while shouting, It's the ghost! Take me back, take me back, please! After the job was finished, he was at the sheds with his eyes shut tightly. Spooked are you, Duncan? Teased his driver. No, I'm asleep, replied Duncan and refused to open his eyes. But he did though just to make sure that his crew was still there. <coughs> and that's the story of how Rusty's ghost story scared Duncan as payback for teasing Peter Sam. I asked him if his story was true or not shortly after it happened and he's not really sure, so it's a big mystery for everyone to this day. I better get the decorations for the Halloween party so I can continue being a really useful engine. Come back another time so I can tell you another story that happened on this island. Happy Halloween and see you all later. <laughs>